Today, more and more Americans fall victim to identity theft. Here's what you can do about it. Avoid carrying your social security card with you. Order and review your credit report annually. Use a paper shredder to dispose of sensitive documents. And talk to your local independent auto owner's agent about adding identity theft coverage, providing safe, sound, secure insurance protection from auto owner's insurance. Adrian Insurance Agency in downtown Adrian and Tecumseh Agency in Tecumseh. I was Roy Von Black, a noted author of uh, I Found Treasure, and you can buy this at Borders Books, Amazon.com, and I guess now Target. So uh, it's really neat. And I'll give this back to you. I'm sure it's first edition. So yes. um, now there's uh, an interesting, funny story. You had a uh, an experience making your own newspaper. Yes. Uh, how old were you when you? Uh, I was probably uh, 22, 23. Oh, okay. So. This was the first indication that I really had uh, a passion for writing, uh, uh, and I, lo I love humor in writing. Uh, I worked, uh, uh, when I was in college, um, I worked for a contracting company, and I was with a crew that worked on renovating apartments. Uh -huh. And I worked with this, these other guys, young guys, and all single guys, and, and it was always antics going on, always funny things. and. And uh, I found myself with a little bit of free time, so I would do the sketches of the guys doing funny things on, on the job, and, and I'd always add cartoon, little cartoon stories to it. Uh -huh. And word got around, it wasn't long before word got around that I was doing a little, like a little newspaper. And, did you uh, draw the cartoons? I did, I did the cartoons, and oh, I did, did really? little stories, yeah. Do you still have uh, remnants of that around? Yes. Do you have any with us? No, no I didn't bring so I never thought of doing it. So. <laughs> It's good TV, right? <laughs> <laughs> just, well, well, you can post them online. Oh, yeah, that's, there you go. That's okay. Yeah. Just uh, cost you a little more. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, uh, career construction. Um, now, this is a. I, I don't know how you you make the leap from being in construction to building inspector to author, but where did how, how did the construction building sector thing fall into place? Before. Well, it, it all began, well, my father was in the construction business, so I, I tended to lean that way when I was younger, helped as, uh, you know, an apprentice or whatever you needed, you know, I could go for it. And then as I got older, got out of college, uh, I decided I was going to go into the construction business on my own. Mm -hmm. uh, that was about 1980. What was the name of your business? It was... Uh, Nankin Maintenance Construction Company. What was that? Nankin. Nankin. N-A-N-K-I-N. Nankin. Nankin. That's uh, when, I, when I was a kid. I lived in a township. It was called Nankin Township. Okay. So I don't know why, why I used that, but I did. Okay. And I had a passion for playing baseball. I I loved playing baseball. I played double A ball, and I couldn't I couldn't work full time. I mean, I needed something really flexible yeah. because I played on a traveling league. We played seventy five to one hundred games a year. Really? Yeah. So I got into the construction business, did part-time, played ball with a passion until I got a little older, and then I did the construction business full-time. So you started actually a uh, professional baseball player. Well, oh, I, tried I tried out for quite a few professional teams when I was younger. So, yeah. yeah. Well, well, you're still in pretty good shape. Well, I try to stay in shape, yes. Do you, uh, do you softball at all? Uh, no. It's like too slow for you. You're well, like yeah, swinging was, three yeah, feet that. before the ball comes. <laughs> well, Baseball, hardball was really my passion, and, and it was softball was such a step down. Although I, you know, I don't. I, I played don't, hardball, but I think there's a magnet in the ball because I was always getting hit in the face <laughs> <laughs> with the ball. And, and, and I, when I was a little kid, I, my dad decided that he wanted to have me um, help him out with the softball team, and uh, so I said, "Well, I'll, I'll coach first base." And I stood right in the line <laughs> where they run through the base, and I had this 40-year-old man run me over <laughs> during the middle of the game. And so I was like, okay, I don't want to do this. And then uh, so I sat in the dugout, and a uh, foul ball came and hit me in the gut. Well, <laughs> it was in the dugout. I mean, I, and there's a fence in front, too. It went over the fence and hit me in the gut. <laughs> so, this wasn't your game, I guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's interesting. And... Um, so you've got uh, you live um, in a very secluded area in the county. Mm -hmm. um, you're that's you're kind of like a Stephen King, you know, out in the country kind of thing. Your villa, right? So big margaritas every night. Well, <laughs> I wrote a book. Right? 
<laughs> well. well, now everybody in Adrian is going to know that you are a, an accomplished writer, and uh, you'll make your inspections even that more fun. Yes, I'm, I do not smile. Yeah, and, right. I'm not just a bad guy. You know, it's very, very pleasant. And uh, so, anyhow, thank you very much, Roy. We're out of time, but uh, um, I'm hoping that we'll bring you back again. Thank you.